Hey, Earth Sign. So let's get into this autumn energy. Let's see what it is given for you guys. So, Earth Signs. So, what messages do we have for the Earth Signs ancestors? What would you like for them to know at this time? Earth Sign. Give it all you got. Earth signs. <laughs> so, wow, Earth signs. The first card that's coming out is the Father of Sticks. Right. So, there may be some things coming up for you in reference to your father. Um, Maybe your father is supporting you in some way, but this is also just saying to me that you are very forthright, confident, and know where it is that you want to go, how you want to do it, what you're going to do about it. Um, there may also be some cleansing taking place, right? Specifically in reference to the crown chakra, that connection to the divine, okay? And, um, in, in that supporting you in, in reconnecting with your passionate sense of self, your innocent, your vigorous sense of self, right? And really allowing you to really have that that upright, like you may be doing, there may be some, some work taking place, right? So you may be deciding to um, connect with A worker, like a magician, someone of a spiritual sense. This may even be you. You may be the magician, <laughs> you know, and um, really, again, supporting other people. But uh, this is also what I'm getting is you uh, getting in touch with the sweetness of life again. Right, and really feeling like, yes, this is gonna happen. I see that it's happening, I know that it's happening. There is no other way, okay. Um, I know this to be true. This is what is true, this is what is real, this is my world. Give it all you got, like that's really what that father of six energy is. What else is here? You know, you're really being authentically you, being yourself in um, every realm, right? You have everything it is that you need to make it happen, and you're utilizing it. You are making use of your energy wisely, right? And it's kind of like effortless for you. Verification. Wow. Okay. Okay. And so we got the King of Cups here. All right, so with the King of Cups, this can be speaking about, uh, this is clarifying this uh, Father of Sticks, which is the King of Fire, the King of Wands, okay? And so with the King of Cups, this is about that emotional maturity, like um, your ability to see things. Like your intuition is at an all time high at this time. Like your, your psychic awareness, even you may be doing some development of these things, right? And this card in this particular deck, it speaks about the vision of God face to face. And, you know, I was talking about the, the cleansing of the, the crown chakra, right? So this may be a lot of that, like, and you coming into this really rareness of you, this is like, People may see you as this foreign being, in a sense, like uh, like you from here, but you different, or you ain't from here, and but we relate to you, like we trust you kind of energy. We know that, um, I know that I can get to where I'm going with you type of thing. Right, I know that um, uh, the success, the success, successful relationships, like for successful work effort, all right, this is bringing in some sort of material reward, even like there may be some travel taking place during this time. Um, the connections it is that you're making are very heartfelt as well, like uh, 
your chalice is full and there is more to give. You are really taking care of yourself at this time, taking care of your health, right? Um, taking care of your soul, even. This is like you are. Whew. So it's like you are authentically expressing yourself. Okay, from an unseen level, like, and maybe people ain't never met this you before, but you need to protect yourself, and maybe that's the work that's needs to take place, protection work with these bottom cards. We have a, a Black Hermit who's a magician in the of Wands. <clears throat> okay, so protect your feet. Protect your feet. Pro protect where you're going, where you're walking. Okay, um... And take your time. This is not a rush. It's like the King of Cups come, came in with the Father of Sticks to be like, take your time. You don't, the flames don't have to be that big. <laughs> they don't have to be that big. All right. It's okay. Like a bonfire will do. It doesn't have to be a whole ambush. You don't have to burn down the whole forest to get what you want. Okay. You just need a fire to keep you warm. To get you to where you're going okay so that uh you don't catch um what is it hypothermia in the coldness of the the water <laughs> i don't know y'all okay let's see what else is here for the earth signs for this fall energy earth signs You're, you're it's seeming very balanced, right? It's not loud. That fire sign energy was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say rushed, but like anxious. But this is like, what's happening? I'm going. I'm doing this. I'm living. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a good time. Okay. So we have the right whale here. And it says the pathway to a dream is one of sacrifice. <laughs> okay. Just that soon. So right whale speaks about caution. All right, I'm gonna read this. Um you needing to take care of whoever it is that you are connecting with. It says your understanding of a person or a situation needs to catch speed. Um, if you are not to fall victim, beware of putting trust in someone who has commitments elsewhere. The right whale, a slow swimmer, fond of coastal waters, is easy prey for whalers who have hunted them nearly to extinction. The danger can be avoided by moving forward and positively getting grips with doing what's right and required in order to not be left behind. Remind yourself of where you are heading. Close friends and relatives will make your life better for you. Consider what is really valuable in your life and you will travel on to a lucky phase in a high position of strength. And it's interesting that that came out while I was, you know, talking about how you enjoying this. It's really good and all kind of stuff. So it's like, um, don't really get caught up in the escapism of things and take care of recognizing who you're connecting with, who is in that space, right? Um, because even at the bottom, we have the Sith Mermaid, which speaks about taking action. Uh, but you're going to need to protect yourself from people who come through like a draining force, right? And try to take your energy. Um, who, you know, if you're feeling suspicious or needing to question somebody, right? Or if it's somebody coming through who um, always seem like that something's wrong, <laughs> something ain't right right um that is something to take into consideration or someone who's trying to push you in a direction that you are not necessarily like what's their agenda that's what you need to ask yourself what's your agenda what you trying to get out of this what are you here for kind of thing you know but at the same time know that you when it comes to your family your close friends the people who it is that you already know be very sure that you can trust them, right? Unless they are the ones, they are the type of people who um, come through on some draining your energy type of vibes, 
you know, this is here. What if it's here? Go to art signs. I have a summer dragon. So, whatever is taking place when it comes to like transformations, it seems like during the um, summertime, either whatever it is that you have been working on in the summertime or come summertime, things are kind of come full circle for you in the way that you are wanting them to. Okay, so more than anything, this is about having a sunny disposition, feeling ecstatic, you know, having a good time, right? Not letting disappointments get in the way, not letting people who kind of drown you out affect you in a negative space. The sun is going down with the music. Okay, yes, so um, like having a good time, utilizing, uh, but it's also like a balance is needed. It's a lot of eight energy. So if you have not really been um, enjoying yourself, if you have not been really allowing yourself to uh, live life, then it's important for you to know that you need to do that. It's important for you to do that. Again, some travel is taking place, some celebration is taking place. This may be happening during Scorpio season. Oh, I have Earth energy. My son is a Scorpio. <laughs> we doing some stuff to celebrate his birthday. Oh. Okay, what else is here for the Earth sign? Signs. So, no moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. So, you know, taking time out to be still when you're trying to, again, that balance, right? Having a good time, but also taking the time to um, sit down and relax, right? To sit down and see what is true, what is real, and what steps it is that you are needing to make when you're unsure. Just take some time to sit down and meditate. That King of Cups is here. Because of that as well, like whatever answers that you need to whatever questions you're having, they are within, okay? I think it was, um, I don't know who it was I told that to, maybe the fire sign to me to take some time to meditate, okay? You need to meditate before your feet hit the ground. Yeah, so we have self-sabotage here. All right, so you need to, this is bringing me to that whole, uh, like the having fun energy, right? Don't, or the people who you're connecting with, that came up in the the collective message, right? With the people it is that you connect with and knowing or recognizing their motives in, um, right? Because at the bottom, we got sacred love. So it's like, don't let yourself be carried away by the pleasures of life, right? You know, it's good to feel good. It feels good to feel good. I get that. But um, I do understand that. But it's important for um, you to know that there needs to be balance between everything. The self-sabotage overall speaks about having compassion for yourself, okay? Knowing that... Um, you make mistakes, right? But this is not then, this is now, right? And you can't get to the future without uh, doing what you need to do right now. We can't be caught up in what we shouldn't have done and what that has brought us, what we gotta take care of now, right? What we didn't do then, why things are the way they are now. It's just, that's just what it is. We have to accept that, we have to embrace that. We have to let it go, let it clear, right? So that we can go forward and, live the life it is that we want, do what it is that we said we're going to do, okay? Because um, Mom Lambo, she says your inner saboteur is clever, seductive patterns of behavior block your path and power. Distractions, addictions, cravings, and unhealthy habits will not bring you your best. Your inner bully is for, your inner bully is the voice telling you you messed up. The part of you 
that is jealous, the anger you don't know what to do with, you're stuck in a procrastinator in your toxic relationship choices. Stop terrorizing yourself with corporate promises and dis of discipline. Instead, choose devotion to your chosen pathways. What inspired action can you take today? I have compassion for myself. Just, you know, be honest, meditate and contemplate on what it is that you need to do for yourself, for your life, for where it is that you're going. All right, utilize your wisdom and truly be, be careful. People who are not motivating you, who are not supporting you for whatever it is that you're doing, who are not offering you that forward push, give it a break, give it a rest. You ain't gotta be around them all the time. Because you are celebrated, celebrate yourself, know that people love you, however it is that you've seen yourself, but the people are probably not seeing you like that, right? The the things that you see about yourself, I am fearless, right? You, you got this. Um, the things that you see about yourself, people don't care about. Even if you told them, they don't care. They have compassion for you. They know you human. Do you know you human? <laughs> Do you know you human? All right. Deal with your anger, deal with your hatred, deal with your, your jealousy, okay? Deal with your procrastination. Celebrate yourself. What is this? Those be scared for these earth signs. Self care for the earth sign. Watch a movie, all right? Maybe your, your ability to enjoy things and to be with staying in the house. All right, watching a good movie, maybe cooking a good meal, all right, and, and celebrating, spending some time in the kitchen. Maybe you eat out too much. Maybe you eat too much fast food. Maybe you eat too much um, processed sugar. Maybe you eat too much of sugar made by other people. Okay, I don't know your life. What I do know is, is that um, you need to celebrate yourself Okay, and just make better choices with whatever that is because you are doing that. You're overcoming self sabotage uh, this season. Okay, so let's move on to Taurus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus for this autumn season? What messages? Oh, okay. Well, Taurus. We have the ancestors, okay? So it's time for you to get into some ancestral work. Maybe there is a particular ancestor that is wanting you to um, recognize their presence, but there is a relationship that is time to let go of. There is some old way of being, thinking, perceiving, feeling that's time for you to let go of, like, because it's, 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 uh, it's like this is an intimate relationship. Maybe there's something that you've really been having some hope on, um, you know, that you think it's going to work, that you really want to try and force to work. But your answer is coming through like, hey, baby, you're doing too much. You deserve so much better. Like, I know you have this great vision for yourself, for your life, but maybe this one ain't it. Okay, whatever it is, whether this is a work relationship, maybe this is a friendship, maybe this is someone who is a Scorpio or has some Pluto dominant energy within them, it may be time to just let this go. Okay, this may just be the Scorpio Pluto energy within you. Okay, where's that in your chart? Check that out because that may be the place where it's time for you to change things drastically. Whatever it is that you're trying to hold on to, it's not you. It's it's that's leaving, okay. This um this autumn season, this fall, okay. Because it's time for something new. It's time for you to return back to your innocence, to that infancy of you, right? Where again, you know no fear. You are fearless. I'm mean, fearless. Is what it said for the earth signs. Okay. Maybe I want to watch that Aries reading. What else is clear for Taurus? Clarify this ancestors. Yeah, I think this has to do with work. Okay, it's time to make a decision. Because it's coming out to clarify is the two of swords. Okay, you've been hesitating on some decision it is that you're needing to make for work. It seems like for some time, but it doesn't. What does God want you to do? 
what you keep doing because you think you should be doing it. All right, because this may be affecting your home life. That's I mean, there may you may even not be showing up as yourself in some way within your home life out of continuing to hold on to something that in this thing may be um taxing to you, right? So it's something about your life. Something about your life, right? And it's something about this this heart-based whatever it is that you got going on. Um, it, and it's time to let go. Like, you have this strong sense of cognitive dissonance of, well, if I don't do this, or if I do this, if I let this go, if you let this go, you don't really know. You don't really know what it's going to bring. You don't know until you know, you know? So it's like, what, what are you... What are you going to do here? What decision are you going to make? Because it's not letting you fully show up. <clears throat> in, in it's like it's stifling you from the sense of success, like the sense of pleasure of that is you, right? It's like come into you yourself fully. Who are you when it comes to your intimate relationships? Be that 100%, 110%, all right? It's time to let the wheel turn. What else is here? And perhaps it's just time to cut some union out. What is this? Shame. Yeah, so what you feel like you're gonna do wrong? You can do, you have to trust that you can do this. Whatever this is, you have to know that you are going to shine when you do this. Get grounded in yourself. Get grounded in you, all right? So that you can um, really do what it is that you came here to do. You're not going to do it wrong. You don't have to be ashamed of who it is that you are. Love yourself, love your life. Who knew? What is this? Trust yourself. Okay, so let's do some love cards. I did not do love cards for the earth signs, but since I'm doing them for individual, it may not matter. I trust you. Okay. So maybe this is you to yourself. Maybe you need to trust yourself. But also within your relationship, your love, you were trusted. You trust them. Act like you. And if you really don't, stop acting like you do. <laughs> if you really don't, stop acting like you do. And maybe there is some trust that has been broken. And that's why there are some things that are being walked away from. Because at the bottom it says, why did you do this? So, or maybe you are having a conversation with someone where you're trying to find out, why did you do this? I trusted you. Or, I do trust you. Why don't you see me? Right? Or maybe this is the other person saying this to you. Maybe you are... If you're being questioned of why you did this, I'm not sure. But I trust you is coming out. Apply that however you need to do that, okay? So let's see. What else? What are the messages? Those are your messages. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sorry. I hope that they serve you. Let me know. Okay, so let's move on to Virgo. Virgo women's. What do we have for Virgo for this autumn season? For Virgo. For Virgo, what messages do you have for Virgos? Okay, Virgo. You're needing to, we have five of knives here. So, is someone lying here? Who's lying? Are you lying? Do you feel like someone is lying to you? Are you lying to yourself? There's some internal conflicts taking place here, but that's changing. You're coming out of this, 
right? And you're seeing things clearly with more clarity. Yeah, so this has something to do with work and help and connecting with people and maybe the work it is that you do, right? Maybe you're finding some clarity on how you want to go about doing this and doing this in a different way, communicating in a new way. Some changes are taking place, but the changes that are happening are good changes, you know? Um, you may be spending a lot of time internally reflecting this season, right? So that you can come out of this conflicting state about what it is that you're going to do, who it is that you want to connect with, who you want to work with, who you want to bond with, you know? Um, this can also even be speaking about uh, this new you, right? Phoenix rising from out of the ashes after a lot of conflict, after a lot of self-sabotage. Right, whatever it is that you do, you're really good at them. Okay. Um, whatever you do, you're better than most are at it. Okay. So, yeah, this definitely has something to do with your work, your service. I mean, but you are the sign of service, all the sign of give and take in work and co workers and everything like that. Um, there may be some change in your work life, in your co-workers, and who you're connecting with, who you're bonding with. Here we have the wounded healer, right? So it's like you're sharing your growth with others, helping other people come out of um, these dark spaces, these places that are, uh, right, not seeing things from a different light. Maybe this uh, full moon in Aries, maybe... Uh, supporting you. I mean, we got this Aries energy here at the bottom, right? So you may be choosing to put yourself first. So maybe you, I don't know, maybe you over underestimated what it is that you were choosing to move forward in, right? Um, in it may be overwhelming you more than you expected. And it's forcing you to do something different. Or maybe what you're doing right now is you putting yourself first. And this is working out very well for you. What was that? Um, hmm. Like, and it may be something coming from out of nowhere uh, that shows you the truth of this. But what I'm also getting is that you are needing to be taking better care of yourself at this time. No, because it, what I'm getting is that you may have been having a pattern of not, of putting, you know, putting other things before you, uh, like that may have come to this point of stress, right? That uh, it may have been even kind of traumatic, very self-sabotaging in a sense, like if I don't do this, then if I don't do this this way, then kind of thing, or maybe you, you could just be coming up out of that energy. Either way, however, it's working out for you, know that um, you will be putting yourself first, that will be a lot of your focus for this, this fall, right? It's like you're figuring it out, you're seeing how to do that, you're seeing how to go from one place to another. Okay. And you may need help in doing this. But let's see what's going on in love for you. Love for Virgo. <laughs> so we have I come alive with you. So the people who you're connecting with, maybe even within your relationships, you may feel very, very passionate with them. They may feel the same with you. At the bottom is we fit together like a puzzle piece. So if if you're already in a relationship, you may feel that this is perfect. This is what you always wanted kind of thing. Like there is no, um, there is no, there is no better fit, right? You've never known this before in a sense. And if there is someone, if you are single and you're coming in a relationship, you are going to meet someone of this stature, of this nature. Okay, Virgo. So those are your messages. Okay. I hope that, that supports you in the way that you need at this time. Let me know.
I'm here. So let's see, Jennifer Coleman, what messages do we have for our Catholic women's pharmacy goats? What messages do we have for our Catholic parents? Our Catholic parents, what messages do we have for our Catholic parents? Capricorns. What do you have going on for the fall? <laughs> Built to lands. That's a lot of cards. Capricorn, absolutely not. This is not. This is not your entire reading, Capricorn. That was five cards. <laughs> Capricorn. For the fall. Y'all doing a lot. Wow, father of coins. Y'all doing a lot. <clears throat> you know who you are. You're not accepting anything less than the father of coins. Okay. You may be, your parents may be changing in some way. And in this is going to support you in gaining what it is that you want, what you need. Um, Mediterranean food may be something that's good for you uh, during this time as well. But your health, it feels like it's taking a new route, right? You may have a lot of miracles coming about for you, a lot of wishes being granted. Whoa, Capricorn. You got the magician at the bottom and the empress. The empress is clarifying the father of coins. Okay, built to last. Built to last. Like love life, love life is good. All right. This is your meeting God. All right. Love life, money, spirit. All right, purity, like, this is honest goodness. Wow, that porn. Okay, I'm here for it. I love this, truly, okay? This Venus energy is like, yes, yes, come through with someone. The Libra Venus may be really blessing you at this time. When we go into Scorpio, it's like a lot of things are going to be manifesting for you. <clears throat> A lot of things are going to be manifesting for you in a way, like unknowingly, like, wow, I deserve this. Yeah, your ancestors are supporting you in this. You have divine lineage here. Okay, so um, people may be supporting you. You may be supporting others. But know that these this is a lot of work happening behind the scenes that um, has been taking place for you. You know, so that you can uh, make it do what it do. But, all right. You, you're getting it right. You're getting it right. Wow. Like, because the emperor is, she really, she has everything. All right, the Father of Coins, he is the highest of the court cards. He is also, the Coins energy is the highest element, the highest um, yeah, element of expression of all the suits, right? Coins have everything in it. It has emotional stability, emotional maturity. It has the passion, it has the drive, the vigor. It has the understanding, the knowing, the teachings to give. It has the wisdom to share from the teachings that have been lived. Okay. So. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on in love for you. The card that fell out before was you completely. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? What is happening here? The love for Capricorn. <laughs> I am lost in you. Okay. So the vibes are vibing. Okay. And even at the bottom, I get lost in your eyes. Like you're really in love. Somebody really loves you. And I really love this for you, Capricorn. 
porridge. Because if anybody know, I know we didn't have some. It's been tough, okay? But it's getting better. All right, Capricorn, you deserve this. All right, you've worked hard for it. If anybody's going to work hard for it, it's you. All right, so yes, our signs. I hope that you know you are celebrated, you are loved, that it's okay to make a mistake, all right? It's okay to sometimes still be in your shadow, all right? And it's okay to see it so you can let it come through. What lessons have you learned and flow from that, all right? So, yes, our signs. These are your messages. I hope they support you greatly. Let me know. I'll talk to y'all soon.